Hey guys, today I have a 2004 F-250 with a 6 liter. Uh, the engine died on the guy while he was driving, uh, wouldn't restart, it got towed, started after it sat for, oh, I think it was the following day I went and cranked on it and see if it, it fired right up. Well, I mean, it, it basically fired right up, considering it died on him. Uh, fired up, ran, I left it running because I suspected a high pressure oil leak and it died while it was running. Um, I figured the engine oil just got hot enough, whatever the, the leak, uh, once the oil got thin, the whole or the leak in the system was big enough that uh, the IPR couldn't adjust for the leak and I figured the next day I'd pull it into my shop and see what it is. Now, it will start and run, but it's only holding, the, the IPR is maxed out, and it's only holding around 500 PSI on the, uh, the injection, or the high pressure oil system. So this thing's really quiet, it only idles at like 200 something RPM, uh, 300, something that's super low, maybe it's 500, I don't know. But anyway, it's really low, uh, doesn't have any power, you give it throttle, doesn't do anything. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it's doing, my luck it fires up, but uh, we'll see. Battery voltage is kind of low, so I'll see what it does. You can see it's trying. It barely, it's barely running right now. I don't know if you, oh, and it died. 380 RPM. Loads 100%. It's trying to run. ICP. See, the ICP is only about 589, but the desire it's 1400, and our IPR is maxed out. We have Ficum Sync. We have Sync. So that's fine. I don't want to dwell on that because I know it's the engine should run, but we have an issue with our high pressure oil system. And if we go back. codes I have a code for a map mass or volume error flow correlation I'm not really worried about that EGR insufficient flow cylinder 8 glow plug circuit glow plug module I have that one that disconnected right now I already started and then I dawned on me to make this video and then now we have ICP uh, pressure sensor circuit intermittent ICP too low and ICP, ICP too low engine cranking and then other codes but the main ones are those three ICP codes now the engine barely runs I'm gonna just consider it not running because it barely runs and it dies um, I crank on it it's only making about 580 PSI yes it should run they need a minimum of 500 to start but with the IPR maxed out I don't think it can sustain it it's uh, the IPR should be ramping up pressure and it can't hold that so in my eyes there's a leak somewhere so with the codes seeing that the high pressure oil system pressure can't get high enough and the IPR is maxed out now I'm gonna go look for leaks being an O uh, early truck the ICP sensor is not on the passenger valve cover that means it's an older pump with the cast iron top, the aluminum housing on the pump, the ICP is on the back of the engine. Um, one thing I did forget to look at was ICP voltage. Okay, ICP voltage, if I remember correctly, for the 0304 with the uh, ICP on the back of the engine, that is correct. 
the ICP on the O5 or newer with the ICP sensor on the valve cover should be 0.25. If uh, if I if I'm incorrect, I'll look that up. I'll look up the specs and I will put it in here to correct myself. Uh, but now I'm gonna pull the valve covers off and most likely crank the engine, look for any leaks. Uh, if I don't see anything obvious that's causing the issue, then I'm going to pressure test the high pressure oil system with air. Uh, to do that, you have to go on top of the uh, oh, high pressure pump housing to pressurize the system uh, on the early ones. And if it comes down to it, I'll have to find some plugs to plug off the uh, oh the lines that connect to the high pressure rails, crank the engine, see if we can make pressure that way, uh, just to eliminate the rails and the injectors. If we can't make pressure that way, then most likely a pump or an IPR. So, um, but I'm going to dig into it now, and I'll update you guys whenever I uh, I get some more. Okay, so I pulled both valve covers and I actually pressure tested the uh, high pressure oil system and uh, didn't do it on top of the high pressure oil pump. I, oh, let me find my grump stool. I forgot there was a plug on top of the oil rail. Let's see if I can get you closer. You can see where I tapped in there. Uh, I found on a transmission kit, or the uh, transmission oil pressure kit. This is a Maco one. I'm gonna check my Harbor Freight one here in a second, see if it's still got the same adapter. But you can see this rail has got the same plug on it right there. And uh, I pulled that loose pressurized the system didn't have any leaks up around any of the injectors or anything or the uh, uh, off the standpipe that high pressure line so what I'm going to do is make plugs to where I can plug off oh you can see back there I've got it where's it at right back in there I think right by my finger there in the front see that goes to there uh, so I've got that off and I'm going to make plug I've got these 7-3 high pressure lines I forgot why I have these sitting around come to find out it is the same diameter connects the same way so obviously the six liter one looks like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld up the end of this, TIG weld the end of that. Then I can connect this in. I have two of those lines and then I will uh, be able to plug both sides, crank the engine. Since the ICP sensor is back by the pump, I'll know if I'm making pressure. If I'm not making pressure, I need to go dig in further, see if I can find maybe an O-ring uh, on top of the, in the, in the pump cover um, or an IPR bed. Uh, the nice thing is once I get back there, I can crank the engine, swap out IPR, see if that does anything, but also take the cover off. Uh, in my experience with these older pumps, when they go, um, a lot of times they'll blow the back off the pump sometimes they don't but they usually cause enough damage where then once you get back there you see the issue this time I probably won't see that so I'm gonna go weld that uh, line up that way I can make these plugs and get a little further
Okay, I'm back in the truck, and I just put the plugs I made on the standpipes. That way, I'm basically deadheading the branch tube, uh, where it connects to the high pressure pump, goes to both cylinder heads, the standpipe, up to the top of the cylinder head, where that uh, quick connect line goes to the oil rails. So I've eliminated the oil rails, I put plugs in, I uh, just got done welding them up, and now we're going to crank it. And we want to watch ICP desired and uh, ICP pressure there and the IPR. Okay, so we were at, I think I saw a, uh, we hit 1500. PSI, actually I think we went over 1500 and our IPR was at 51% duty cycle. So I'd imagine whatever our leak is, it's coming from up in the injectors possibly. So maybe that leak test didn't show us anything. So um, now I'm going to put the stuff back together and crank the engine to see if I can see any leaks actually crank it and see if I can see any high pressure oil leaks uh, so I will update you shortly okay so now the what is it I had the plugs in the rails that way I could crank the engine over and see if I was making high pressure oil basically at the pump uh, with the ICP at the back I was able to read ICP I was at I think 14, 1500 PSI. Uh, that test is good. I suspect high pressure pump issue, but I wanted to try uh, hooking the high pressure oil rails back up to see what happens. Um, since I couldn't find any leaks uh, up on the uh, injectors or anything, which I was suspecting anyway. But I just wanted to try it now that it's making high pressure oil. Did I change anything that could have caused anything? So now I have, you can see I have it all hooked back up. I did see this wiring for injector number, what was that, four? I didn't get any circuit codes. Messed up here. Maybe a mouse chewed it, maybe it's frayed. It probably looks like a mouse kind of chewed it. I don't know. So. We'll go in here. Start our data log. Yeah, we're peaking out at like 1,800 and then staying steady at 1,500. Uh, I'm wondering if... I'm wondering if uh, number two injector wire, number four injector wiring is causing injectors to stick open and create a high pressure oil leak. Uh, I'm going to fix that wiring and put the thick one back on and see if this thing fires up. So, we'll see what happens.